my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be answering questions about my YouTube channel and YouTube in general. So I asked you all over on my Instagram whether you would like to see this video and so, so many of you said yes. So I was like, I'm gonna do it. I asked you guys to ask me some questions and you very kindly did. So let's get into the video. I'm wearing this really, really cute jumper by the way. It's from Primark and it says smile on it. I know it's kind of cut off by the camera, which is slightly annoying, but um, yeah, I've got this blue scrunchie in as well and this matches it and I just, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the cozy vibes. I feel like we're getting into awesome vibes now. But anyways, let's answer the questions. So the first question is, how long have you had your channel? And I have had my YouTube channel for a year and nine months. So coming on almost for two years, which is pretty crazy. Although I do feel like I've had my channel for about five years because I've pretty much always done some sort of filming throughout my life. I think when I was about eight or nine my passion for YouTube came into my life and although I wasn't allowed a YouTube channel at that age I used to film on my Kindle and I used to make little vlogs on there and honestly I used to do this so often and I became obsessed with Zoella and she was like my YouTube inspiration as a child but I used to do so many vlogs from about the age of nine and although I wasn't allowed to post them I still have had YouTube as a big part of my life for many many years. Also just quickly want to address that my nose is a little bit red so if I look a bit like Rudolph um, please excuse that because my hay fever is super bad today and my nose keeps running and I feel like I sound quite nasally so just ignore that. The second question is has your channel helped your confidence in any way and I would say yes it has actually. I started my channel and my camera presence wasn't the best. It wasn't awful but I was just a little bit awkward. I was like oh what do I say? How do I act? Um, and I've definitely learned over time to just be yourself. I think when I first started my channel, of course I was trying to be myself and everything, but it is a little bit awkward when the camera's on you, you don't really know what to do, uh, you don't know what to say, and I think now after doing it for so long, it's definitely improved my confidence. Not only my camera confidence, but also my confidence in real life as well. I just feel like I'm less worried about what other people's opinions are in general, even when I'm like at school or something. The third question is, do you ever find YouTube stressful? And I'd say yes. I try my best to make it as least stressful as I can because I don't really want it to be something that is stressful to me. I want it to be something I always enjoy and enjoy doing and don't find it like a chore or anything. And I never do find it a chore, of course not. I love YouTube to pieces. But I do sometimes find it stressful if my upload's not gonna be up on time. And I know that no one's gonna be like, why haven't you got it up on time and all that? But it just really frustrates myself when I know my video is not gonna be up at 6 p.m. on Tuesday or Thursday. Uh, so that does very irritate, irritate me, but I try my best and that's the main thing. And I think I need to remember that when I'm getting stressed. Another thing that does stress me with YouTube is that I spend hours and hours editing my videos, filming my videos. I finally start to upload it onto YouTube and this isn't kind of YouTube's fault. It's kind of YouTube and Wi-Fi mixed together. Um, and it takes hours for my videos up to upload. I think it's pretty much the area I live in that we have a really, really bad connection. So I think that's more the problem, but it takes so many hours for a video to upload onto YouTube and it frustrates me because then sometimes my video goes up late and it wasn't even my fault. <laughs> the next question is, what gave you the confidence to start your channel? P.S. I love your videos. Thank you so much. Honestly, I don't think people realize how much I appreciate when I get comments like that because it just means the world to me. I barely ever used to get comments like that on my channel. So when people say that, honestly, it's so, so nice and it means the absolute world to me. So thank you, first of all, for saying that. And second of all, what gave me the confidence to start my channel? I think because I just always, always wanted to start a channel. Like I said, I've been filming vlogs and videos since I was about eight or nine. I'd kind of been filming vlogs before vlogs were really a thing, um, but I was just filming them myself on my Kindle or on my like phone or whatever. And I just loved filming. I've always loved filming. I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel. And so I think that's what gave me the confidence to start it. I think I just always, always wanted to start it. I used to ask my parents if I could have a channel for years and years. And they didn't really want me to when I was younger, which is understandable because obviously, you know, you want your kids to be safe online and everything. So I was never allowed one as a young child. But I think I had the confidence because it was something I'd always wanted to do. If you are nervous about starting a channel, then please don't be. Just go for it. Because one of the hardest parts of having a channel is starting just making that move and starting it so once you've done that you have overcome a big hurdle already and then after that if you enjoy having a channel it will be amazing and you will love it just try and hold back your nerves and give it a go if it's something you really, really want to do 
The next question is, where do you see your YouTube in a few years? I'm really, really hoping that in a few years time, I could hopefully make it to 10,000 subscribers. I feel like 10,000 is probably one of my ultimate YouTube goals. Um, and if I ever did make it to that, it would be absolutely incredible and I, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. So yeah, I think that's probably where I'm hoping to be in a few years time, that would be amazing. And the second part of this question was, how do you cope with watching yourself whilst editing? I'm honestly not too sure. <laughs> I think because I do so much singing, I hear my own voice so much that I'm just used to hearing my voice. So when I edit and stuff, it doesn't really sound weird to me or anything because it's just my voice and how it always is. Because I hear it so much when I'm singing all the time, it just doesn't really feel that weird. Next question is, do you prefer to film challenge videos or vlogs? I have to say vlogs, to be honest. I way prefer filming vlogs than challenge videos. As much as I do love filming challenge videos, I find them so difficult, like especially if it's a 24 hour challenge. Uh, they're quite tricky to film and also if you have to do it for 24 hours it's so hard when I did the trampoline one that really really put me to the test um, but filming vlogs I just find so enjoyable it's just filming what you're doing in your day or week or whatever you're doing filming the vlog I just love vlogs so much I think they're definitely probably my favourite videos to film overall except I do love videos like this like chatty sit down videos they're also one of my favourite type of videos to film where I just get to talk to you guys and tell you all my opinion and and answers to your questions. Next is, who would be your dream collab and why? I probably have to say Absolute Heidi because her videos are so good and I also feel like um, our style of videos is quite similar. She is so sweet, she's so lovely and I've got to know her a little bit on Instagram. We are all on this group chat, we chat and stuff. So yeah, we've all got to know each other a bit better and she's just so, so nice. So yeah, Absolute Heidi. Saffron Barker, oh my gosh, I've been watching her for years and I love her videos. And Anastasia Kings North, also love her videos again. Um, there's quite a few other people as well I'd love to collab with but those are the three that come straight to mind next is what is the best thing about having a YouTube channel and why the best thing about having my YouTube channel is that it is the way I can express myself I love chatting to the camera I love chatting in general I'm a very very chatty person if you can't tell by my videos I just love filming I love the editing honestly there's so many great things about having a YouTube channel I can't really name all of the best parts because there's so many also the friends I've like made already through my YouTube channel is crazy. Um, I've made quite a few YouTube friends. I have chatted to a lot of you guys in my comments um, through Instagram when you send me messages and stuff. I get to chat to you all and you guys are one of the best parts of having a YouTube channel as well because honestly you all make me so so happy. You're so kind, so lovely. You leave the nicest comments and you all make my day. And we are now on the final question which is what are your goals? Short term, mid term and long term. My short term goal is to hit 1000 subscribers. Um, this is relatively short term, although at the same time, I'm not sure how long it's gonna take me to hit 1000. I only hit 250 a couple of months ago and I already have over 550 subscribers now, which is insane to me. In the last two weeks, I've gained over 200 subscribers, which is a dream come true. I can't explain how grateful I am. It's crazy to me and i'm so so happy and so excited about it i just thank you so much so if my channel does continue to grow at that same rate then i'm hoping that i'll be able to reach a thousand subscribers relatively soon so that is my short-term goal and that is the goal that i'm really really aiming for my mid-term goal is kind of a long-term goal at the same time um i really don't know how quickly my channel is going to grow but i say my mid-term goal is 10,000 subscribers is kind of my big 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 goal but at the same time i think my absolute dream 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 goal is a hundred thousand plus um if i ever reached a hundred thousand i wow i can't i can't you can tell i'm literally speechless i can't even put into words what that would mean to me so yeah a hundred thousand is my ultimate long-term goal uh, my mid-term goal is 10,000, but it's kind of, that's kind of my mid slash long-term goal. And then my short-term goal is 1,000. So that is all of the questions. If you do want to help me to reach my short-term, mid-term, and long-term goal, then please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please like and leave a comment because I love reading and replying to your comments. They mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>